Hello children. The lesson 1 we are going to start with globes and maps. In this chapter we shall study about the shape and size of the earth, difference between map and a globe, how to study a map for specific information. To begin with shape of the earth. Children you all know that the planet earth is our home. Initially people believed that the earth was a flat. It was proved by several astronomers that the shape of the earth is round. Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer, he led an expedition to prove that the earth was round. In 1519 Magellan sailed from place called Seville in Spain with five ships. In 1522, one of his ships returned back to the same place. This proved that the earth was round. The astronauts who have gone to the space have also confirmed that the earth is spherical in shape. shape of the earth. Children as we all know that earth is divided into continents and oceans. The extreme north continents and oceans Children a continent is one of several very large land masses generally identified by convention rather than any strict criteria. Up to seven regions are commonly regarded as continents. Children, there are seven continents as North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia and Antarctica. The five oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean. Children, do you know what is the biggest continent? Here we have by area Asia is the largest continent at 44, 391 and 162 square kilometer. It is also the largest by population with more than 4 billion people. There is a quite a bit of debate as to how many continents there are. Some areas of the world combine Asia and Europe into one continent called Eurasia. Globe Children, a globe is an exact model of the earth. It represents the earth in a simple and accurate way. It helps us to see the distribution of continents and oceans on the earth. A globe is a small three-dimensional model of the earth. Spherical, slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. It is mounted on an axis so that it can be rotated freely. Just like the earth, the lines of latitude and longitude are drawn on the globe. The shapes of the continents and the oceans are shown quite accurately. The different physical features and the locations of places are also marked more or less clearly on the globe. A globe however has certain disadvantages. The demerits of globe are a globe doesn't show the details of landforms, location of small towns, etc. Globes don't show the entire earth at a time. It is also difficult 
to carry the globes around. I believe that larger globes can show some more details but actually they are difficult to handle. Some small areas have greater detail while which shows large areas generally depict only important locations or places. It can show continents, countries, cities and even a local area with all the details. It is easy to handle and to carry as it can be rolled up or folded. But children, maps however have a disadvantage also. A flat map cannot accurately show the curved surface of the earth. When a map is drawn, the shapes and the sizes of the continents and oceans get distorted. The maximum distortion occurs in the regions around the poles and the equatorial region can be shown with reasonably less distortions. Children, do you know the science of map making is called cartography? And a person who draws map is called a cartographer. Types of maps. There are two main types of maps, political and physical. In this given module, children, you can see the physical map and the political map over here. Political map of India. The India political map shows all the states and the union territories of India along with their capital cities. India is officially known as the Republic of India and is comprised of a total 28 states along with the 8 union territories. Children political map shows the boundaries of administrative units such as countries, states and districts. Different types of boundaries are shown with different symbols. They are also show the locations of cities, towns and villages. Here in this module, children, we can see the political map. This is the world political map and the left side is your India's political map. Here we can see the distribution of the boundaries which are shown in different colors, symbols, the different states so that you can identify the states and the union territories. The next we have is the physical map. The purpose of the physical map is to show the features of geography such as mountains, soil type or land use including infrastructure such as roads, railroads and buildings. You know children, a physical map can also be called as a relief map. This map generally shows the landforms and the water bodies on the earth's surface such as mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, lakes and seas. These different features like the landforms, water bodies like mountains, plains, it can be shown on this physical map with the help of different colors. Children, map reading and drawing are important skills to learn in geography. It also helps us to know the distances so that we know how far one thing is from another. Physical map of India shows all the physical divisions of the seventh largest country in the world. The topographical features of the country are quite varied. These high quality and informative maps help you to understand all the topographical features of India.
in the last session of this we have homework for you the first question is differentiate between map and globe discuss the shape of the earth mention the role of ferdinand magellan in determining the shape of the earth the last question is name four directions used in a map children please do take care of yourself stay home stay safe thank you